Hey guys, so are property prices falling in the UK? Well, the answer is yes, they are in some areas. Because at the end of the day, whatever area you look at, whatever market you look at, you've got to get local. And I think when you get local, you'll see that your areas with the best fundamentals are still actually holding up pretty well. The areas with not so, you know, a bit more sketchy fundamentals, maybe not so much. And I think there's a couple of things here is you've got to always factor in lag, okay? So lag means that something happens, like Liz Truss, a horrible budget, um, something like that, and that knocks confidence. It takes time for that confidence to come back, and therefore a number of sales were being lost during that period, finance was taken away, there's a whole range of things that went on back at the tail end of last year, 2022. So that has played effect on the markets, and what you have seen now is the confidence has come back, and therefore the sales have come back. And whilst, you know, look, people are negotiating now because obviously recession, high interest rates, all these sort of things, you've got a whole range of factors. So yes, we've got high interest rates. Some people are selling because they can't afford it, but by the same token, confidence is a bit back in the market. So first time buyers are coming back in. Funders are jumping back into the market. There's an extra thousand products on the market. So there's a number of things that are going to affect whether prices are falling or not. So the question really becomes, are prices falling in my area that I want to buy? And secondly is, what are prices likely to do? How far are they likely to fall? Are they likely to fall off the face of the cliff? Or are they likely to just ease down because you know there's this little level of uncertainty, recession, things like that in play? And I think when you factor all these things in, you start to get a much better picture of what is going on in the market. And right now, the market in January certainly, and February, has been pretty damn good. Considering we're all talking about this 2023 recession that you know is definitely coming and has been coming for what appears to be the whole year, um, actually things are looking pretty damn good. You know the funders are coming back; they need to lend. You know, um, so all of these sort of things are starting to fall into place. Now that doesn't mean that if interest rates continue to go up, which I think they're likely to do a little bit more, that we're not going to see you know further falls. And that, but the question really is, can you get a deal now? Now's the time to be going in with a ridiculous offer, negotiating harder, you know, finding reasons why you can knock down the price, okay? Because this is the market to be doing that, and that's we're certainly seeing that with the developers we work with. Is we're now starting to get a bit more leverage. They're starting to come to us and say, hey, how do we get this stuff sell? What do we need to do to make it sell? You know, that's the sort of negotiation sort of things where they're sort of. You know, that's the market we're in right now. So take advantage of that, yeah? It's a good time to really get educated, do your research, pick the areas with best fundamentals, and then invest. Because let's face it, you know, we all wanna buy when it hits the bottom right before it comes back up. But what happens after this market is property shoots back up, okay? And so when it shoots back up, oftentimes you're here, it might drop to there, but then it'll shoot back up in a matter of weeks or months and you may miss the whole thing. So rather than riding it through that, you end up missing and buying higher. And that's oftentimes what happens. And then you look back and you say, oh, I missed that. And now I've got to, you know, it's too expensive and I can't afford it. There's always excuses. The question is, are you going to take action or are you going to let the excuses um, rule your life? And, you know, at the end of the day, what we do is we'll help you build in the confidence, the certainty, and the direction that you need, the strategy you need to make money in the market. And I think that's really key here is, you know, that's what you need is you need to get that confidence, the certainty, the strategy about the, whatever the market we're in, okay? Because your market, your, your strategy is gonna change over time. Anyway, guys, if you wanna know any about strategy, market, whatever, then get in contact. Make sure you comment um, any thoughts on where you think 2023 is gonna go or have we actually avoided the recession and um, maybe, or maybe we'll put it off till 2024. You know, let's see what happens. All right, guys, like, subscribe, and comment. See you later, bye.